Information comes to us packaged and distributed in many formats, but where do those formats come from? Here's an example of how information formats are largely defined by when and how they were created. Within hours of Hurricane Katrina's descent upon New Orleans, internet news sites, blogs, TV, and radio reports were covering the damage. Over the following days, newspapers covered the event in more detail, adding layers to the story and considering related issues like the structure of the levee system and the state of emergency shelters. In the following weeks, magazines joined the coverage of Hurricane Katrina, weighing other issues such as the federal government response. As months passed, academics began to write about what happened in New Orleans. Academic journals published articles relevant to their different disciplines. Years on, books appeared on all aspects of the event. Finally, reference sources, like encyclopedias, started to include overviews of what happened in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, assimilating key facts and issues culled from the preceding news, magazine, journal, and book resources. So, a format is the type of source you're using, but in information terms, format also refers to specific ways information is organized, packaged, and distributed for us to use, how it is wrapped up, tied with a bow, and handed to us. It's easy to focus on the content of the information and forget about how it was created, but the process that went into its creation is important information as well. Try considering this next time you're looking at a format. How was it produced?